I'm, I'm not sure if I'm in the frame because my watch is not connecting to the phone and it's stressing me out. So I hope I'm in the frame. If I'm not, I'm not re-recording this. <laughs> um, we are going to be doing graphing using point slope form. So as I usually say, make sure you have some notes out so you can take, go ahead and take some notes. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. How to graph using point slope form. So first of all, you need to know that point slope form is y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. And step number one, is that you need to identify x1 and y1. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> step two is plotting the point. Step three is identifying the slope. And step four is using your rise over run. Last but not least, you are going to draw the line. This is actually very, 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 very easy. Okay? Uh, so example number one, what you're going to do is, is you're going to identify x1 and y1. So x1 is going to be x minus four, but Remember in the model, minus x1 means the opposite of x1. So the opposite of negative 4 is going to be positive 4. So then when I'm looking at the y, remember in the, the model, it's y minus y1. So that's the opposite of y1. So the opposite of negative 5 is going to be positive 5. So basically my point is 4 comma 5 which I love, and then my slope is going to be the number in front of the parentheses, so that's negative 7 over 4, and now I can graph. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to plot our point, so we're going to plot, or yeah, a plot our point, and our point is going to be 4 comma 5, so starting at the origin, I'm going to move over 4, and I'm going to rise up 5, and when I do that, to find my next point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rise over run. So my rise is negative 4, so that means I'm actually going to go down 4. So you see the point turned orange. Now starting from that point, I'm going to go down 7, and I'm going to run over 4, and that's going to go ahead and be a line. You see, it's really simple. Find y, x1, find y1, find your rise over run, plot the point, rise over run, draw a line. Boom! Okay, example numero dos, numero dos, numero dos, numero dos. Um, we want to find out what x1 is. So remember x minus x1, so the opposite of x1. So negative 5, the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. And then the opposite of positive 4 is negative 4. So the point that we're going to plot is 5 comma negative 4. Now my slope is going to be the number in front of the parentheses, so that's going to be 4 fifths. So 4 is my rise, 5 is my run. First thing you want to do is plot the point. So starting from your origin, you're going to go run over 5 spaces and you're going to run down 4 spaces. And from that point, the point's going to turn orange now and you're going to use your rise over run. So you're going to rise up 4, run over 5. Ta-da! You have a line. Look at you go. Okay, example number three. Out of six, by the way. So example number three basically states the same thing. So what's the opposite for so to find x1? What's the opposite of positive three? Good, negative three. What's the opposite of negative three? Good, positive three. So our point is gonna be negative three, comma three. Slope is one. One over five. Good. So one is my run. I mean, yeah, one is my run. One is my rise. Five is my run. And so starting from the origin, we're going to plot our point. So that means from the origin, I'm going to go over negative three, and I'm going to go up three points, right? So from that point, now I'm going to do my rise over run. So from the point negative three comma three, now starting from that point, I'm going to rise up one and run over five. So once I go ahead and do that, rise up one, run over five, and I can draw my line. See, it's not that bad. Okay. <laughs> Example number four, same thing. You should pause the video and see if you could do it on your own. Uh, 
I hope you paused the video. If you didn't, well, here we are. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do X1. Um, obviously, that's the opposite of positive one, so it's negative one. Then we're gonna do Y1. Um, that's the opposite of negative four, which is positive four. So my point is negative one comma four, because every point has an X comma Y. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find our slope, which is negative two, but it, to make it into a fraction, I always wanna put it over one, negative two over one. So that's my rise over run. So now we're gonna plot our point. So starting from the origin, we're gonna go negative over negative one and up four. Doop, doop. So from that point, we're gonna rise down two, run over one. Rise down two, run over one. Ta-da! Not so bad. Okay, so that is graphing in point slope form in a nutshell. Now, a lot of times what they'll ask you to do is graph from point slope form. Sometimes what you will like to do, let me rephrase that, graphing in point slope form, you're comfortable with slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. Everybody knows slope intercept form, right? So you just might be more comfortable with that. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna transform it from point slope form into slope intercept form so you could just graph it the way that you might be more comfortable graphing it. So you're gonna distribute the slope, you're gonna move y1 to the other side, you're going to identify and plot the y-intercept, you're gonna use your rise over run, and then you're gonna draw your line. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, so example number five, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna distribute the slope. So we're gonna distribute the two, and of course that's going to give us y plus four equals negative two x minus two. And then you want to isolate y by moving the positive four, so we're gonna negative four on both sides. So you're gonna get y equals negative two x minus six. Now, slope intercept form, remember is y equals mx plus b. The y intercept is b, so obviously that's gonna be zero comma six. Your m is your slope, so that's gonna be negative two over one. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna plot our y intercept and then we are going to ride from that point from our y-intercept we're gonna rise down two run over one draw a line hey we did that uh, 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 uh. go you <laughs> okay um last example y plus three equals negative one-fifth parentheses x minus five now I know y'all are like fractions <laughs> stop it it's not that serious distribute the slope what's one-fifth neg what's negative one-fifth times x it's negative one-fifth x right what's a fifth of five right if you divide five by five what do you get one right negative divided by negative is a positive it's not that serious sometimes you guys look at fractions and you automatically shut down don't do that a lot of times the fractions are just common sense okay now we're gonna get rid of the three so we're gonna subtract three from both sides so y equals negative one-fifth x minus two so y our our y intercept is now that it's in slope intercept form y equals mx plus b so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and pick out the b which is negative two. And then we're gonna pick out our slope, which is the M. So that's gonna be negative one fifth. And we can start graphing, okay? Cause now we know our rise and our run. First put the point. So put zero comma negative two on your graph. Next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna do your rise over your run, right? And so that means rise down negative one and then run over five. And once you do that, guess what? You can graph a line. That's it, baby! That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Uh, that's the whole lesson. And I always say the same things over and over again. What do I always say? I say at the end of a video, go back through and see if you can do the examples on your own. Okay? Um, and now I've also started saying, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, tell your mamas, tell your aunties, tell your daddy, tell your, your sister friend, best friend, 
the, all of them that there's this math channel, there's this lady, and she not dry. Okay. <laughs> Bye, y'all.